Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many users encounter while working in the Bash environment. Our viewer wants to know how to find files with spaces in their file names. For example, they have files like test1pdf and test2.pdf in a specific folder, and they're unsure how to use the find command to list these files correctly. Let's break it down and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To find files with spaces in their file names using the bash command line, we will use the find command. Let's start by understanding the basic syntax. In our case, we want to search in a specific directory. For example, if we want to search in the current directory, we can use a dot as the path. The Nash name option allows us to specify a pattern. The pattern Strota matches any file name that contains a space. Now, let's put it all together. The complete command to find files with spaces in their names in the current directory is as follows. Finally, if you want to search in a specific folder, simply replace the dot with the path to that folder. For example, to search in vol1 slash apache2 slash application slash current, use that path instead. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To find files with spaces in their names, you can use the find command combined with grep. This will help you locate all such files in your current directory. If you want to rename these files by removing the spaces, you can use a while loop with the mv command. This will rename each file found. You can customize this script in several ways. For example, to rename directories instead of files, change type F to NF type D. To replace spaces with underscores, simply modify the last part of the rename command to file slash it. This will help keep your file names tidy. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.